Nicole Tesmer, and I'm the registrar here at the World Chess Hall of Fame. This program is part of our Check, Please Chess Dining and Decor exhibition, and I'm here today in our Jingle uh, pop-up, which is located on, in our third floor gallery. Um, today I'm going to show you how to make some fun drinks for your holiday party. Uh, first off, we have a hot chocolate board here. Um, so I've got my little mug here filled with hot chocolate already. And you and your guests can, you know, pick out whatever they want to top their hot chocolate with. We've got whipped cream. We've got caramel and chocolate drizzle. We've got chocolate chips, sprinkles. But you guys should just have fun with it and put whatever you want on your hot chocolate. drink I'm going to show you how to make is going to be our jingle juice. First you want to start by getting a shaker and filling it with ice. This is going to have one ounce of gin in it. Um, you can use whatever gin you like. Um, you can use a little shot glass. One ounce equals one shot. So you pour that into there. We also are going to add a little bit of orange liquor to this. We're going to do a half ounce of orange liqueur. I've got a little bit of a bigger one here. We're gonna put two ounces of cranberry juice. And one ounce of pomegranate juice. Pour that into your shaker. I made a little honey syrup here. It's just honey and water that you're gonna uh, put on the stove and cook till it forms a little bit of a syrup. We're going to do a half ounce of honey syrup in there. And then we're also going to add a blood orange shrub. So I've kind of made my own shrub here. Um, a shrub is essentially sugar, um, some type of fruit, and a little bit of vinegar. So I brought balsamic vinegar, and I have a um, blood orange uh, cordial here. So we're going to do a half ounce of this. And for adding the vinegar, you want to add a very small amount just so you don't have your drink um, be a little too acidic. So I've got a tiny little measuring spoon here. I'm just going to add a little bit of that in there. Pour that into your drink. Give it a nice shake. And then you can fill this or you can put this into any glass that you'd like. And then finally, we're going to top this drink off with a little bit of sparkling wine. Going to garnish it with some cranberries and a nice lime wheel. And this is our jingle juice. I'm going to show you how to make is going to be our uh, Queen's Gambit. For this, um, it should be served in a wine glass. So we've got these cute little wine glasses here. You're going to want to fill it with ice. You are going to add two ounces of Aperol. Aperol is an orange flavored Italian liqueur. And that would just be two of those little shot glasses. Uh, you're going to top it off with some club soda. And add some sparkling wine. And this gets garnished with an orange wheel. And there you have our Queen's Gambit. cocktail I'm going to show you how to make is our Bad Bishop. So again, you want to start with a rocks glass, fill that up with ice.
Get your shaker ready. Fill that up with ice as well. For this, you're gonna add one ounce of bourbon. You can use your bourbon of choice. We're gonna do two ounces of cranberry juice in here. And this very delicious sage and rosemary simple syrup. Um, this is gonna be really easy to make. You're just going to start with one cup of sugar, one cup of water, boil that on the stove, and then once it's finished and it's become sort of like a syrupy texture, you're gonna add your sage and your rosemary and let it steep for about 10 minutes on the stove. Um, I got one whole package of sage and one whole package of rosemary to make this um, syrup here. And then you're gonna add a um, half ounce of the sage and rosemary simple syrup. And then I have a little bit of fresh squeezed lemon juice here. Um, lemon juice, if you wanna go ahead and uh, do fresh squeeze or you can buy you know, the pre-squeezed lemon juice at the store, it's entirely up to you. Just a little splash of lemon juice. Give that a nice shake. And then you pour that over ice. And then this one is going to get garnished with cranberries and your leftover um, sprig of sage and ro or, uh, yeah, sage and rosemary there. And then the final drink I'm going to show you how to make is going to be our mocktail. Um, it is going to be called a Silent Night since there's no alcohol in there. Um, this one's really fun and it should be a hit with all of your guests. Again, you wanna grab your rocks glass, fill that with ice. Grab your shaker, fill that with ice as well. And for this, you're gonna start with black tea, which I've infused with cinnamon sticks. So you would just make your black tea normally. Um, once it's done um, steeping, throw in some cinnamon sticks. I like to leave the cinnamon sticks in for a little while to like kind of um, infuse that nice flavor into this black tea. So it's going to be uh, one part black tea. We are going to add some pomegranate juice to this as well, one part pomegranate juice. I also went ahead and squeezed uh, some fresh orange juice here. I'm gonna add one part orange juice to that. And then I have just a regular simple syrup, which is just that sugar water mixture that you're gonna cook on the stove till it becomes a syrup. Add a little bit of simple syrup there. Gonna give this one a nice shake. And then this one's also gonna get topped with a little bit of club soda. And gets garnished with a nice uh, little lime and some pomegranate seeds. And there you have it. We have four cocktails here that you can make for your holiday party and of course our hot chocolate bar. Thanks for watching. I hope these drinks make your holiday party a little more special and definitely come visit us here at the World Chess Hall of Fame. Bye.